everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and I'm here with your card reading for the week starting the 31st of January. This is for Aquarius and I'm using my Teacup Tarot deck. So let's get right on with your reading for a really positive week. And here we are, your six cards, lovely. So your overall energy here is the card, the King of Pencils. Now, the King cards in the deck are those of an authority figure. And the King of Pencils brings with them very much an energy of someone who is very emotionally balanced. The King of Pencils is very good at giving advice on specific things like very complicated paperwork. It might be a legal issue, something like that. Legal um, information that you need. The King of Pencils is extremely well educated in complex paperwork. So he's very much in a position to be a mentor or a helper if we need help with such a thing. The King of Pencils is also a very gifted public speaker. So this energy could be you bringing all these qualities for somebody else, or it could be somebody with these qualities coming right in to help you. Our help or our hurdle, we have card number 10, the Wheel of Fortune. Expect things to start moving again. This card comes in, quite often after things have felt a little bit delayed or a little bit stalled. The Wheel of Fortune here, look, the angel is collecting all lovely qualities such as happiness, inspiration, gifts and positivity. She's got them already here in the wheelbarrow and she's ready to make her move forward simply and easily. Our guidance here, we have the card, the three of pencils, and this asks you to relax. It asks you to rest and trust that things are getting better. This is also a card of moving on. It's a card of healing. And look at the angels here. Look, they're just sitting together. They're watching the sunset, having a cup of tea and some quality time together, knowing full well that things are getting better and that they are getting ready to move on. How can we help ourselves? We have another card which represents moving on, and this time it's the Queen of Pencils. Now, the Queen of Pencils brings along with her the qualities of getting rid of anything which no longer serves her. Look here, she's cleaning up. She's got all sorts of things to help her get clean and tidy, and she's bringing in something new. But in order to do that, she has to get rid of things that she no longer needs. Now, the Queen of Pencils can be quite direct in her attitude towards others. She can be quite humorous, but she knows exactly what to do. She's ready to leave things behind which no longer serve her, and she's ready to bring in the new. And pulling it all together, we have exactly that, bringing in the new. We have an ace, the ace of teacups. Now, all the aces represent new beginnings, and the ace of teacups represents new positive emotions finding you. Look at the angel here, these lovely qualities fluttering down from the tree right into the teacup in front of her. These are lovely new emotional experiences, happiness, joy, love. Sometimes it can mean a new home. It does also remind you to trust your intuition. Go within, trust your intuition. It's right there to help you. And then the outcome card is beautiful. We have card number three, the Empress. This card says it's time to get busy. Act on those new ideas. Act on that new project. Work creatively. 
Here she is, look, she's got her sleeves rolled up. She's got her apron on. She's busy with her creative project. She's not just thinking about it or hoping for it. She's busy. That's just what you need to be mindful of this week. So just to pull it all together, just to summarise. Advice from someone who is very well educated in complex paperwork or legal issues. A mentor is here to help you. Are you using those qualities to help others? Expect things to be moving forward. Be ready to move forward with positivity and inspiration, taking all these lovely qualities with you. Be mindful to have a rest and be ready to move on as things get better. And then out with the old and in with the new. Time to leave behind what no longer serves you and start welcoming in the new because these new experiences are here for you. Positive emotional experiences are right in front of you, right here for you. And time to get busy working on those new ideas and new projects because these new action steps will be leading you towards success. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button, make the bell ring, then you'll get notified when I do the next one for you. So take care now and I'll see you soon.